Okay, right. Um, this is a video. I am having a rant, and I mean a rant, um, because for the simple fact is the government are fucking us over, big time. Um, I've just had letters from the new child maintenance service. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm the first one to turn around and say, right, okay, if I've got pay, I've got pay. It's as simple as that. Which, totally agree with. At the end of the day, you brought the kids into the world, you pay for them. Likewise, don't get that. You know, don't get me wrong with that one. I, I totally and truly understand. Um, so any parents out there that are going to be watching this, please don't get the wrong end of the stick. What I don't agree with is the new system that's come into place, which they are taking your gross earnings and not your net earnings. Which basically means that their calculations are, um, they do now, they are calculating your gross earnings, which everybody knows in their right mind, you do not take home your gross earnings. You have got your national insurance that come out. You have got your tax that comes out. And also your pension that comes out. Now this bearing in mind with all them things. Plus bills that I have explained to them that you have to pay. Which most people have to pay on a day to day basis. It is leaving me with £20 a month left. What are you supposed to do? with £20 a month. Nothing. Well, how am I supposed to buy clothes? Trainers? Even a haircut? With £20 a month. Not just that, I have got also kids in this household and which many other people have got. They have also got children. Um, whether they be their own kids or stepkids. At the end of the day, them kids are kids and they need stuff, i.e. birthdays, Christmases, even holidays, which, yeah, it's a bit of a luxury, but even a goddamn ice cream, what am I supposed to do with £20, people? And this is a major, major rant. Now, they turn around here and say, if your de decision is wrong, what to do if your decision is wrong? Ring them up. Rung them up, they can't do nothing. They've got to look at it annually. How am I supposed to survive off that? At least leave some meat on the bone. So according to these, um, I take home, their calculations is £1,400. Don't take home £1,400 because that is gross, not net. Letters, so many letters. I've even gone to a local MP about this. Because it's wrong. It is so wrong. You've got to leave a little bit of meat on the bone, people. And this is what the government aren't doing. Basically, i tell you what the government aren't doing. Or should I say what the government are doing. And I'm not one for politics and all the rest of it. Um, to be honest with you. But. The government are saying that they want people back into work. Fantastic. Yeah, get, part, yeah, get people back into work. What is the point? Seriously, what is the point? I would be probably better off not working. They are forcing people out of work with this. Uh, according to them, after your gross weekly income amount, remember I said the word gross, weekly income amount that we used to work out child maintenance is £374.14. I don't earn £374.14. After my deductions, I earn £281. Not £374.14. And this is what the government need to sort out. Uh, honestly, uh, it's like there's things out there called Fathers for Justice and uh, all the rest of it. You have to sign up for, I think, Fathers for Justice... And there's a fee. You can't afford the fee anymore when you're left with 20 quid a month. 
what the hell are you supposed to do with £20 left out of your wages a month? That's working for less than £1.75 pence a day. It's just ridiculously stupid. Like I've said, don't get me wrong. I know that you have to pay child support and all the rest of it. Which, yeah, okay. But leave some some a little bit of meat on the bone what am i supposed to do for one of the girls or one of the kids turn around and say oh can is it can i can i have an ice cream or can i go mcdonald's i'm sorry but i have only got 20 quid to my name and that's got to last me four weeks it's wrong in so many of the words it's wrong and uh it's just pathetic I'm sorry, it's pathetic. The government need their heads looking up because they are screwing people over. If this is going to be how you get back into people back into work, then I'm sorry, but you seriously need to look at your paperwork and think, you know what, that ain't going to happen. That ain't going to work because, seriously, you're forcing people out of work. Literally forcing people out of work. What the hell are you thinking? It's... Stupid letters after letters. They turned around and said your child maintenance hasn't changed. Yeah, it has a lot. I was paying a hundred and forty-two pound for one child. When now I've got to pay a hundred and seventy-eight pound per child. How has that not changed? How the hell has that not changed when they want me to pay that? And after I have paid for my car, my fuel, household bills, and then that comes straight out of your account, I'm left with £20. You tell me who in the hell in the right mind would go to work and slog it for 40 hours a week for £20 a month. So you do eight hours, which a lot of people do, or 7.25 hours, and you're left at the end of the month with 20 quid. Share this as much as you want, because I know I'm right, because nobody in the right mind would do that. Nobody. Um, I hope this does go viral. I really do, because this is so wrong, it's unbelievable. They turn around and say, like I say, what do you do if you think this decision is wrong? I'll tell you the answer to this. There is nothing, according to them, which I've not long rung up, you can do, because it's their calculations off this new system that the government have set up. Right, OK, so what was the point in sending me a letter saying what to do if you think this decision is wrong? Because the answer to it is there is nothing you can do if you are earning 25% less than what you're earning now which would make it out at about 14 uh, sorry she, she, she worked it out if you're earning under 14,000 pound then it would change if you're earning 25% over what you've told them and they've looked at the tax year and all the rest of it then it changes and it goes up who in the right mind goes to work for £14,000 a year? Where are these jobs for £14,000 a year? Because you might as well be on the dole for £14,000 a year. You might even get more, I don't know, than £14,000 a year. This ain't going to get people back into work. This is going to be forcing a lot of people out of work. This is like... Poverty at its highest, because after all the bills have come out, and you try and support and keep a roof over your head and a car running, that you need a car to go to work, obviously, unless you're lucky enough and you either it's close enough that you can either walk it or bike it. Brilliant, because to be fair, if I didn't have a car, I wouldn't even be able to afford a bus pass on £20 a month left. And this is no bullshit. This isn't joking. 
that, that we've and I've sat there and I have number crunched and number crunched and number crunched and calculated and calculated and I have worked it around everything and I am just lost because it comes out at the same figure as twenty pound. People might sit there and think it's funny. Good on you. You can sit there and comment as much as you want about this. Well, you shouldn't have had kids, and you shouldn't have done this, and you shouldn't have done that. At the end of the day, a lot of people shouldn't do a lot of stuff. It shouldn't stop you from having children. As long as you're willing to support them children, that's fine, fair enough. But my gripe is, yes, support the kids, but what about the people that are also going to work? This isn't like I'm a bum or a smackhead, and I don't get off my horse every day and go to work. How is this incentive to go to work? It's not. This doesn't give you the incentive at all to go to work. Why the hell should I get my horse out of work, it up in the morning, should I say, and go to work, when I know for a fact all I'm going to be left with at the end of the month is £20. What the fuck? The government needs to sort their heads out and sort this out because this is so wrong, it's unbelievable. Rant over. Have a good day.